Well, all the projects that we'll work on in our practice always start from the history of a site. So we've done some projects like Tonsley and um, we're working now on the old Royal Adelaide Hospital site uh, in my city where I live. And we start with the first thing we do is look at the history of the site. And the history is not only a cultural history of occupation of the site, but it's all also about the natural systems that occur there. So how the water flows in and around the site, how the soils work and how the climate works to it. So to go back and look at a site, understand what was there before we came along is incredibly important. It becomes a starting point, I think, for every project for a landscape architect. Well, I love the new buzzword, which is about ecological urbanism. And I think what that's about is it's really uh, a new take and you look at urbanism which traditionally has been very much architect driven. I think now what landscape architects are doing is that they're understanding better the contribution they can make to city making and that's about um, interconnected systems and multi-layers within our cities. Now these are not only natural systems that we see but they're also economic systems, they're also cultural systems and social systems and landscape architects seem to be able to bring all of these together to make some of the most rich and interesting places in our cities. Well I think we're standing in one now so I think the Wynyard Quarter in uh, Auckland is a fantastic example of taking a post-industrial site, which was an old wharf, and then putting new buildings within it. What it's done is it's referenced what was here before. It's got, if you like, in places an industrial grunge, which is really appropriate to what might have been here. And it's a very relaxed type of design, which suits this site perfectly well. And it also suits the kind of conditions that I'd imagine you'd get here in terms of being by the water. Well, I think, uh, and I'm very biased in my view, that uh, landscape architect uh, landscape architects are perhaps the most relevant of the design professions now. They're not stuck in ideology, I think it's an emerging profession and I think it's a very rich profession that's able to uh, bring both natural systems and people together to make these incredibly interesting and relevant places. I think our landscape architects are now and I think if you look at some of the wonderful projects that are emerging throughout the world and projects like West Eights, Madrid Park uh, in Spain or the High Line in New York, these are really significant projects which have a lot of media and it, what I suppose is a pleasing thing for people like me when I look at it is that I see that architects are getting a lot of recognition in terms of the work they do as an alternate way of urbanism, of making our cities. And I think they've been really successful in doing that. As I said, I think even in, um, in Australia and New Zealand, I think we've got some fantastic examples where landscape architects have led the way and they're the ones that are actually changing the cities. There's a lot of work still to do, but I think we've had some really good wins.